so I'm going to get started on my glasses, sunglasses here in just a moment, but I want to show you this. Um, this new hot glue gun was sent to me by the folks at the Momvic store on Amazon to try out and review, and I thought I would share it with you and use it on my sunglasses. And uh, so we're going to open this up together. Check this out. And I will leave a link to this in the description box below so you guys can go check it out as well if you want to. Um, it comes with some hot glue sticks, which is always good. And open this up. So it comes with some little finger cots, some little silicone protectors for your fingers. So you can like dab on, you know, push your... Um, push your things together and not get hot glue on your finger. That's pretty awesome. So there is a code you can scan. Hopefully if I can hold it still enough, um, you can go check them out on Amazon. Again, I will leave a link in the description box below, but so far it looks pretty good. The handle is um, pretty thin, which is kind of cool because sometimes hot glue handles are, you know, kind of chunky. And I, I kind of love this, you know, how easy and big this trigger is. You know, you don't have just like a tiny little, tiny little trigger. Like it's, you know, you can get three fingers on it and, you know, get it going. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is kind of awesome. This is silicone. I didn't, that's kind of cool. It's not just um, hard plastic, but this is a kind of a protector for your nozzle. And it comes to a nice skinny point here, which is kind of cool. So you're not getting in, you know, you're not trying to get in on something fine detailed like that that's that's kind of a cool feature there with that little silicone cover there so you don't burn yourself that's pretty cool and the base is pretty awesome uh, you can set it that's that's pretty good i mean honestly that's a pretty good little sturdy base you can set that down it's not not too easy to tip so that's pretty cool um, so we're going to plug this in and try this out and uh, see what we think about it. And we'll get started on our glasses. Okay, so they come with uh, three different sizes of the finger protectors, which is cool because some people have bigger fingers than others. I have bigger fingers, so, you know, these are pretty awesome. So you got one that's big enough for your thumb. And they're quite stretchy, so even if these are a little, this one's too small, it's still very easily stretched and can be used. So uh, nice little finger protectors there for your hot glue crafting, which is pretty awesome that those came with that. So uh, I'm going to be using this pair. I picked up just a cheapo pair of sunglasses at the Dollar Tree, and we're going to be using those to create some... Uh, some sunglasses that are a little bit more in uh, in theme, I guess. Um, I don't need these on right this second. I'll pull these off. But um, so I'm just gonna pull these little stickers and stuff off. And I have a little bit of this fabric left over from my um, project over there, my other outfit, and I've just cut it into strips. And I'm going to be adding it just a little bit around the edges just to kind of make it fit in a little bit because um, Ray's glasses, I'll try to put a picture of them here. They're kind of like um, some goggles, and they kind of have like fabric and stuff, you know, larger around the edges. But I'm not going to like try to recreate hers. I'm just kind of trying to put a little nod towards it. Uh, main thing is that um, Disney doesn't like for uh, people to try to dress in character because they don't want them um, to look like they work in Disney. You know, it's a safety, a safety thing. But they do like for you to be... Um, to kind of dress like you fit into the land like into Batu. so that's kind of what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of using um, a character's outfit as a reference and then just kind of making my own just to kind of 
fit into the land of Batu. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of adding a little bit of decoration so that, you know, it kind of fits more than just a plastic pair of sunglasses does, you know. So we're going to try this. Those are going to work pretty well. Those are within the bounds of my bound. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully this is going to be a cool outfit. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're interested, go check out the Monvik glue gun. It is a pretty nice glue gun. It's been pretty handy. One of the features on this that is pretty nice is once you get it heated up, you can unplug it and you can go and use it if you need to, you know, while it's still warm. Uh, so like if you have an application where you know your cord doesn't reach or something you can still go and use it obviously you know it's unplugged it's still hot you can go and use it so that's one of the cool features about this it does have a low temperature and a high temperature the low temperature is signaled with a red light the high temperature is signaled with an orange light and then it has an off in the middle so that you can turn this off 
they do recommend that you turn it off a little bit before you stop using it because the glue can still melt and come out um, that'll that'll kind of keep your dripping down so go check that out thank you so much to them for sending me this glue gun it's a pretty cool one i will probably be using this one from now on i really like this trigger i don't get that trigger fatigue like like on my smaller ones you know from trying to just use a little a little trigger so that's pretty nice i really like i mean this is still hot and and that's a little you know if you accidentally bump up against the the point you're not going to get instantly burned it is still hot but it's not hot enough to like burn you instantly as soon as you touch it so i do like that feature and a lot of good features to this glue gun so go check them out in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys in the next video bye I almost forgot. I thought I was done and then I remembered that I was planning on putting some little greeblies on the sides because Ray's um, goggles have some different uh, elements and things that go with it. And so I found these things at uh, Dollar Tree. I've used these in some of my other makes and just pulled some little pieces out. I use these for my uh, Mickey ears with the Dianoga um, diorama inside but I'm going to take a little bit of black acrylic paint to kind of uh, give them a little bit of depth. See the difference there. Just gives them a little something something. just a little bit of white on them as well just to kind of lighten them up help match up her corners a little bit Now I'm going to take my little clippers here and I'm going to cut these little things off. These were made for like little action figures, so you don't need this. Just clip that right off. 
And then I can hot glue onto the side of my glasses. I'm going to make sure I don't have any paint on my fingers, but I want to know where my glasses bend because I don't want to glue it past that point. So I think I'm going to do them about there. All right, so yeah, I think that that helped a little bit, add a little bit of details to the sides. So yeah, I like that a lot. And I can still fold them up if I want to, place them in a bag, whatever. So cool. All right, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.